Over the weekend, North Korea conducted more missile tests. That by itself is its own problem. But America also has its own problem, and that is Donald Trump is our president. So he somehow turned this issue that he has with advancing his diplomatic approach to North Korea into an attack on a Democratic candidate for the presidency. So after those attacks, Donald Trump tweeted this, North Korea fired off some small weapons, which disturbed some of my people and others, but not me. I have confidence that Chairman Kim will keep his promise to me and also smiled when he called Swamp Man Joe Biden a low IQ individual and worse, perhaps that's sending me a signal. I don't even know. That's just the worst tweet in every way. He disturbs me and some of my people, yeah, I think. Yeah. Um, so look, substantively, which we'll return to a little bit later on, the idea is that he believes that he is able to have this sort of personal connection with uh, Kim Jong-un and that that by itself will avert some sort of hostilities between our two countries, which at, at least on principle, I support. Um, but that does not seem to be the, the sort of situation that, that the North Korean regime is actually abiding by. They are continuing tests, including with weapons um, that are banned under the current terms of their agreement. And uh, to I suppose to distract from that, Donald Trump has turned this into a thing about Joe Biden. So I don't wanna spend too much time on this, but it is still, I believe, unprecedented that one of two things has happened. One, that a president has gone abroad and while abroad has attacked his domestic political opponents. And two, that he has sided with a murderous dictator to do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, the particular comments that North Korea had said recently were, their state run media recently referred to Biden as an imbecile, a thoughtless guy and a fool of low IQ after the candidate criticized Kim in a campaign speech. And uh, well, asked about that. Uh, Donald Trump said, well, Kim Jong-un made a statement that Joe Biden is a low IQ individual. He probably is based on his record. I think I agree with him on that. Now, I feel the need to remind people of this because Donald Trump does not appear to know it, but Kim Jong-un has killed countless people, both individually by killing them with dogs or by firing mortars at them, conducting insanely cruel executions of that sort, as well as just mass killings of, of his political opponents through starvation and work camps his and brother. all of that. Exactly, family members as well. I believe there was an uncle that might have been the mortar, uh, if I remember correctly. And so he is siding with that person to attack one of his the, the potential opponents that he might have in the 2020 election. Right, and that's what my biggest issue with this is that I refuse to play any part in normalizing the monster that is this man, the leader of North Korea. Mm -hmm. He's a monster. The human rights violations in his country, it's unheard of. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that there aren't violations in every single other country. This is just not a normal man. Yeah. This is not a normal dictator. This is, uh, he's a horrible person. He treats his people horribly. And the president is just chumming up with him. And it's not just an excuse. Um, to have good relationship like with our country because basically you don't want a good relationship with him. You just want this man to not try to bomb you because we don't really know what he has going on over there. Exactly. Um, and this is the, the only reason he's doing any of this is because he likes what this man said about one of his top competitors. Yeah, he, he either likes that or I mean, look, I would say uh, extending more goodwill to him than he deserves. It would be an achievement if he were to get North Korea to denuclearize and to start to have a closer a closer earned connection with other countries, including yeah. South Korea. Yeah, but after um, but all wishing of that, doesn't make it so. Right. After all of that, they came together, and Kim Jong Un was like, "Nah." Yeah. Well, and, and, and these continuing tests appears to be striking a far more far more provocative stance with Donald Trump than Donald Trump is willing to acknowledge. Um, look. I don't like the other side of this with John Bolton attempting to um, inspire hostilities against North Korea. That has been happening over the past few days too. But while we can push for a diplomatic solution to these problems, I also, as you say, I don't wanna normalize any of these regimes, whether mm -hmm. it's potentially a closer military connection with North Korea. Uh, we found it over the past couple of days that Donald Trump is going to, to, to break uh, effectively the law in, um, in uh, further weapon sales to uh, Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been continually hammering home that these are dangerous people and dangerous regimes, not to inspire some sort of military action against them, but to make sure that they're not normalized and become more common around the world, um, whether it's because Donald Trump believes that they'll be easier to work with or because the military industrial complex in the US believes that they can make you know, millions or billions of dollars in selling weapons to them. Neither of those is an acceptable outcome, especially when countless hundreds of thousands or millions of people are living in abject terror in those places.
And so the Biden thing, look, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Biden, I'm not a supporter of Biden. In doing this, my goal is not to defend Biden or his IQ. I don't know what his IQ is, I don't really care what <laughs> don't his IQ care, is. right, exactly. But I'm not interested in this new territory that we are moving into. Um, and we're gonna have more sort of related to this on one particular topic with Emma Vigeland later on in the show. Um, but this is bizarre and in a particularly dangerous uh, way, I believe. And you know what, just, just thought about that when we're talking about how we don't care what his IQ is. Just that the President of the United States using that as an insult against mm -hmm. uh, some, another politician is not the worst thing about this. It's yeah. not the craziest thing about this. We have gotten to that point, Isn't mm -hmm. that's wild. Yeah, yeah, it is wild, and uh, that too is that, being there's just You don't expect any decorum mm -hmm. from our President anymore. That's so, yeah. I don't know. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.